This is Household Hacker Quick Tips, simple tricks to help you save time while you go about your daily life. Today, Windows shortcuts. Now if you're a Mac user, don't worry. We like both. That's why we got you covered down here. Just click the video or check the description and you can see all of the neat Mac shortcuts that we put together. Now we've all found ourselves in a situation where we're looking at something on our computer and it needs to go immediately because maybe someone's coming down the hallway or your boss is walking towards your cubicle. Doesn't matter, it needs to go. Here's a simple shortcut to make that happen and on the quick. All you gotta do is put your finger on the Windows key and the D key and press them at the same time. Boom, you're back at the desktop where you can act like you were just doing something else. Sometimes you go on a web browser tab bender, as I like to call it, and you open up 50 tabs with a bunch of different things, but you know something important's in there. However, you got too many open, so you start closing them out, close them out, close them out, close them out. Then once it's cleaned up, you realize you closed the tab you need. Well, with this little shortcut, all you gotta do is press Control shift t right in your browser. This works for every browser that's popular, you know, IE, Firefox, and Chrome. So press Control shift t and it's gonna start opening up all of your previously closed tabs one by one until you find exactly what you need. Now here's a great way to clean up window clutter on your desktop and put two windows side by side for comparison. Select one window on your screen and hold down the Windows key. Now press the left arrow or right arrow and it'll still shift over to that side. Do this for the other window and you'll have a side-by-side -side comparison. This will also work if you want to maximize the window. Just press the up arrow. And if you want to minimize it, press the down arrow. If you've ever written an email in an online platform like Gmail, for example, you might have noticed that when you copy something from another page and then paste it into your email, it retains all of the formatting. That could be the font, the color, even the text size. This can often look really strange when you paste it in there and you're about to send it. Now you want to make it all look uniform. So here's how you do that. Instead of hitting Control V to paste, hit Shift Control V. It's going to paste unformatted text directly into your email and hell, you can even play it off like you wrote the damn thing yourself. Taking a screenshot in Windows used to be a big issue. You either had to load Snap Tool or hit Print Screen and then paste that into Paint and export it out as an image. No longer. If you want to quickly screenshot the active window you're in, just press Alt print screen. It will automatically make a file for you and show you a preview of what you just snapped. This can also be done for your entire screen by holding down the Windows key and pressing print screen. The images will be saved to your photos folder by default. All right, so you're doing some really important research or writing. You don't want anyone to see it, but you gotta go. You're late for that meeting or your friends are going to lunch. You gotta go out the door right now. Well, really quick, just hit the Windows key and press L. That's all you gotta do. It'll lock your screen, you can get up, you can move on. Now up until this point, we've really only been talking about keyboard shortcuts. Now let's bring the mouse into the mix a little bit. If you need to make a copy of a file, there's no need to do the copy paste thing. Just hold down the control key and drag the file over. It'll instantly make a duplicate when you release the mouse button. Pretty nifty. Now if you do a lot of online trolling, you know the importance of having finely crafted words and proper grammar. Now, sometimes you go back, you look over your post, and you realize, oh, I messed up here. I could have been more insulting. And you really want to deliver that ultimate blow. Now, jamming on that backspace key to fix words can take quite a while, letter by letter by letter by letter. However, if you hold down the control key, you can delete entire words in one fell stroke. It's a big time saver, especially if you just Googled synonyms for your otherwise benign insult and you want to do some more word swapping. Did your dear sweet grandma drop by for the weekend and you want to use the computer machine with her? This is an awesome and easy shortcut to quickly get the screen size magnified. Just hold down the Windows key and press the plus key for an instant zoom. You can go back down by pressing the minus key. This should work on any app running from the desktop. Now here's how to quickly access your hard drives anywhere on your system. This goes back to the whole window clutter thing. Sometimes you have like 20 windows open, you just need to get to your E drive or your D drive and it's nowhere in sight. So at any point when you're using your system, just hold down the Windows key and press E. This is gonna open up the My Computer directory and give you quick access to your drives without changing the other stuff that you have going on. So those are our favorite 10 Windows shortcuts. Now obviously these are global, so they're gonna work on Windows 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What are they on now, 16? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. So Windows 16, you're good there too. Now please, leave your own in the comments, share with everyone around, and we'll see you next time.